everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and the man behind the curtain over there is Don. Hello. Hello and hello to Mr. Quilt. Thanks for imitating me. <laughs> I hope that was, if you guys read back, she said that Judy Quilt said that Mr. Quilt was pretending to be Sue. And welcome back. I hope he was a and th as enthusiastic as I am. So, all right, everyone have their coffee. Everyone ready for some fun? We're gonna make Christmas ornaments. Isn't that cool? Yay. Uh, these are amazing scrap busters. So for your batting, this is just a piece of batting that I cut off and it's gonna be perfect. And for your fabric, just a piece or two of fabric. They don't even have to match on the back side. This is for his hat. Another thing is, this is great to use your Kingstar Metallic. That's what we're using today. And the only other thing you need, but you don't have to have, is some ribbon. Now, uh, I got this from Michael's Celebrated. And it's $4, but I probably got it for 50% 50 50 off. And this is just perfect. I like it because it has the red in it. But you can go fancy like this one. Isn't that cute? It is. I think that would look awesome. Mom says hi. Hi, Mom. And how about some snowflakes, especially if you're doing any of these colors on your designs. So any little bit of ribbon will do. Um, I saw someone use uh, in the testers group uh, Rick Rack, and that looked pretty pretty cool so any scraps that you have this is what we're going to do with them so this is a uh, rudolph s gnome and rudolph because i did his nose red because i didn't do a reindeer so it's rudy 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 rudolph all right, well, that's what I did. Uh, there's a polar bear, there's Christmas candy, there's a penguin, and what else am I missing one? Santa, of course, Santa. So there's five of them included, and these are really fun, I'm telling you guys. These are really fun and easy to do. Lynn, you're going to love them. So dig out your 4x4 four four hoop that you never use because this is what... This is what you need it for. I had to dig out mine. Now, it doesn't have googly eyes because this is actually, this is the first time I used my 4x4 hoop. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and so this will be the second time. I wanted to update you guys as well. So first of all, the lavender brown quilt is completed. Dawn's going to put it up there. I did the binding and it's gorgeous. I figured out finally what I've been doing wrong the whole time. It just kind of clicked on the last two corners and I got mitered corners and I'm like, yeah. I also did a very pretty label for it on the back marking the day that they are getting married and the design is stunning. It's from Sonia Sh Showalter, yes, Showalter. And it's a monogram design. So I just took the monogram out and then stitched it. And it's beautiful. You can't really see the lavender parts in it, but it's absolutely stunning. So that's the update on that. The wedding is next week. Good to go. I'm going to pack it in a book box um, that I got from Michael's. And I just thought that would just be like the dream. Open it up with some tissue paper and bows and ribbons and stuff. And it's going to be perfect. So that's the update on that. Now, the next update is look what dime sent to me. I am so thrilled. I am so thrilled. That is a serious, serious collection of thread. Isn't that awesome? What's your secret to the corners? 
All right, I will tell you guys because it just dawned on me. But anyways, let's get back to my thread. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? If you look at the top bottom row, the green, I'm like, oh yeah. So it came, it's 60 spools and it came with a thread rack. And I moved all my AccuQuilt to put them in there. So that's what we're going to be using um, today and probably most of the time is... Uh, those colors so it's awesome I also got some of the the four packs that I showed you guys I will be adding them in as well so isn't that awesome I know I'm so excited I will apologize too I didn't get a chance to fancy up my nails I forgot or just didn't do it so they're sparkly apricot color and that's all you get for today that's it that's all I got so, scraps, plaid scraps, something for the beard. Now, this guy is dimensional. I did fuzzy for the beard. It was a little awkward, little awkward, but it still looks good with the fuzzies. I like it. So, I also have one more surprise for you guys. Believe it or not, I wound a bobbin with metallic, with metallic thread. Ooh. Did you know you can wind bobbins with metallic thread and it'll work just perfectly? So make sure, um, Marianne says, you make me laugh all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to get Don. I say something so shocking that Don spits out his coffee every day for the last 10 years. Right, Don? Yep. Yep. He's careful. <laughs> Where is the design from? What design are we talking about? This one, the gnome? This is fundraising. And what I'm fundraising for is a better computer to run the videos so we can get the SUCAM hooked back up. We can't do it right now because the PC won't read it. I want a Mac, but a better Mac. I have one, but it just doesn't have the brains to do it. So these are basically a dollar each and there's five of them and instructions and of course this video. So if you want to make some awesome Christmas decorations and support the channel at the same time, this is what it is. So yes, uh, back to this. You can do this. Did you know when I first got this thread, I tested the bejeebers out of it and I took it as far as freestanding lace with metallic thread on top and metallic thread on the bottom and it worked perfectly. So anything you want to do with metallic thread, just do it. Bobbin, anything for sure. So anyways, yeah, go pick up your design. We are going to stitch out this gnome. We are going to use metallic thread in the bottom for the last part, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, I think it'll be great. Maureen says, I just got a Christmas layer cake. Fun for these decorations. Oh yeah, absolutely. That would, do you know how many you could get out of I'm thinking like in cards for gifts in a card. Like if you send out cards to Christmas cards to people, you could tuck one of these in. Oh, quite nicely. Yeah. yeah. And I think that would be beautiful and they're nice and easy to do. So you could pre-cut everything like I have. This is his beard. I'm not doing fuzzy today. And uh, basically on this one, I used, I didn't change the thread. So I didn't do the smile, though, because it wasn't going to show up in the fuzz. So, I mean, it doesn't get easier than that. I think it's neat. And this is all, the the uh, ribbon is all in there beautifully. It's awesome. So, so why don't we... Oh, Lynn says, thanks for the easy instructions. Every step is there for Lynn, for sure. Um Beth Price, thank you very much. Everything's going towards better videos. Uh, Lynn doesn't have a big old fancy machine. She has one that you, an older one that you can't see the pictures, and she tells me she gets confused because we are used to having the next step come up and you can read it, and she can't see it. So I said, I'll number them, and I'll put every step. And she likes it, so yay. 
Um, thanks again, Beth. We appreciate everyone's support. Make sure you go get your designs. They're super cute. All right. So. Candace is asking if you can do them two-sided. Well, you could. If you matched it up properly, I don't see why not. You could. I thought on a Christmas tree that they just sit one-sided. Like when you're hanging it up like this, you only see the front side. So, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. But you could if you matched them up. I don't have it set up that way, but that doesn't mean anything either. Okay, Don, over to the machine. What's up? I have a little graveyard going, I'm embarrassed to say, but, you know, whatever as well. So, 4x4 four four hoop. Like I said, there's no googly eyes because this is only the second time I've used it. And WSS because we want it to look gorgeous. I have some gorgeous thread in there, and I should look at the numbers. It is 3015, so the Dime Thread Exquisite 3015. And it's a beautiful color. It's the same as the Nomi color, and I love it. So the first step, Lynn, is, I can hear, placement. No, I can't really hear so if you're wondering what this little mark here is, that's a reminder to place your ribbon when you turned it over because the first one I did I forgot and a Christmas ornament without a ribbon to hang it is pretty useless. So I thought, oh, I'll fix that. I'll fix that. So placement and we're going to put down our batting. And in a pinch, if you're doing the gnome, you can just put a layer of batting. You can use any fabric for it, but the fuzzy takes a little more time. It's less forgiving. Um, but in a pinch, you could use white batting. It's pretty much the same. So Scrap Buster City. Get out all your little scraps everything works especially i think this is especially good for batting i think it's awesome so Thank that you, Sandy. that is down so we're gonna go back to the desk don and yes, thank you, Sandy. Love these ornaments. I think they're really good. They should be a big hit. I'm really thrilled with them. Oh, by the way, I fixed my scissors. Remember I was saying I was having trouble cutting with them? Uh, the screw was loose. Got a, no, do it. Got a screw loose, Don? No. No. Um, so I tightened that up, and they cut magnificently again. So. Mary Ann is, uh, is asking, what do you use for your fuzzies? For the fuzzy, the fuzzy beard? Um, it was fake fur that we got a long time ago. I was thinking fleece would be nice as well, but I didn't have anything that didn't have stupid animals on it or something like that. Um, but that that is quite furry. It's cute, though. I mean, it's original, but you have to pick out the fur from the um, seams to make it all stand up, so it takes a little bit longer. And it was a little bit hard to trim, so it's just the, the fake fur, for sure. So there we go. Nice trimming. Isn't that beautiful? So next we're going to do the gnome hat. I love the shape too. So back to the machine, Don. What's up? Thank you, Joe. Oh, there we go. I didn't want it to fall out. So hat and we're going to do placement. So all these are constructed the same way. Jill, thank you very much awesome so this is the placement for it and i've got my i always think the plaid the different plaids look really good for gnome hats you don't you don't have to of course but i just think it's kind of awesome for whatever reason oh the hoop is so little i gotta look at it i gotta yeah oh, i'm covered there we go okay so, is that too risky there? Nah, let's do it. Living on the edge. Yeah, the embroidery edge. Thank you, Janet. Janet, thank you. See how pretty the red looks on all this green? 
I love it. So now the next question is, am I going to do his nose red? I think I will do it all in red. It looks really cute. But I mean, why not, right? Okay, we are going to go back to the desk as soon as he does his little dancey. Back to the desk. And we're going to trim again. Misha says all my Christmas stuff is plaid. Yeah, awesome. It's just, I, I don't know if it's an old-fashioned thing or what, yeah. but I do like, I do like it. I don't know. It's cool. The Santa one is, um, if you have red, would look nice, but any color would look nice. And it says belt. Go lay down, Tank. I'm not done yet. Go lay down, buddy. Tank is wanting out, but he doesn't need out. He can wait. Good boy. Thank you. We have a couch down here, and he just plunked up on it. Good. Good boy. So, there we go. And that look cute? I think also if you could fussy cut some Christmas fabric for it, I think that would look really neat. Oh, I love that. I'm not used to watching the small hoop. I know it's weird, isn't it? I'm I'm not used to using it. So okay, let's go back to the machine, Don. Just like I was not used to the uh, well, large. Need to zoom in more. <laughs> Cause it's way back there. Zoom in more then. Yeah, when I used the big hoop, I was like, whoa! <laughs> it's everywhere. It's hoop everywhere. Up anymore, it's just normal. Just normal. Well, <laughs> yeah, now they can see it better, sure. So, I just have some beautiful soft felt. Um, I thought of using sparkly, but I couldn't find it. I thought that would be really cute a sparkly beard for him. So, being frugal, we could get quite a few gnomes off of this one piece here, which is cool. So, scrap busters, booyah! I love scrap busters. Oh, on the edge. Jeez. If I'd done it a little higher, I could have left it and had his nose white. But I didn't do it enough, so never mind. Okay, back to the desk, Don. See if I'd put it higher. I could have left it for the nose and had a white nose. But Almost. He's going to have a red nose. What do you want? Red nose. So. Rudy needs a red nose. Well, that's kind of why I called him Rudy. The truth is probably I just didn't feel like changing threads. But then again, a red nose is always applicable in at Christmas or for Christmas designs. Especially for a gnome. Uh, I thought it turned out well. He's an outside gnome, as most of them are. He doesn't have a gnome home. It's on the fall door. Ha <laughs> ha, the design, you know, yeah. So he's cold. Either that or he's drunk. <laughs> drunk, drunk gnome. Maybe a bit of both. It's possible that he could be. I don't know about the, the gnome life. You know, like thug life, gnome life. Something like that. Sandy says they make great gift tags, too. You could put a name on them. Wouldn't that be perfect? Yeah. Super easy. And and so... Uh, they're so nice. It's the shape, I think, too. Look at that. I love the shape. Mm -hmm. It's like a gnome stamp sort of thing. All right, back to the machine. And we're going to do... I am going to leave the red, but... Uh, I think green would also look good, and it's just the edges of the hat. But I'm going to leave it in red because the outline is red. So, yeah, that looks much better, Don. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, it's just, uh, you know, basically raw edge applique. So, these are just little covering stitches. And it just separates it. It looks okay. And I could have done a way better job on trimming, but we can fix that up after. Look how far off I am. Oops, sorry about that. 
it's rough trimming. Okay, so we are going to do the nose, and I'm going to stick with the red. Just because I can, and I think it's super cute, and the red stands out sort of thing. Did, I love it. Did you finish talking about your binding? Uh, no, I'm going to do a video on it because it was like, I almost screamed out loud when I figured it out. It's something that you can watch all the videos that you want and they don't specifically say it. So I wasn't doing it right. And what I wasn't doing was the corners of the important part is that I wasn't uh, doing the angle correctly and leaving enough fabric so when I went to fold it over to make the edge, there wasn't enough fabric to do it. So it was a moment, and I will do a video because it was life-changing for me. I was, I can't tell you how happy I was. It was like amazing moment. And I sh probably should have ripped out all the, the rest of the ones that I did, the two other corners. But I wasn't 100% sure at that time if I was right. I was right. So two of the corners are absolutely perfect and super easy. And the other two corners I fought with for all eternity. So, you know. You know. So, yeah, I like this red nose. It's kind of not a bright red. It's more of a dark red. So I kind of like it. And he's got a little smile. You can, I think gnomes are just as cute without the smile. But I'm going to put it in and see. I think it would also be cute with long hair like a girl gnome. No beard though, because that's weird. So just a little smile. Keep the same color. Yeah, it's cute with the smile. He looks pretty happy. So the next step is the shape. It looks like on the machine, it's just simply the shape. And that's our cue to put our fabric. It's our back fabric. And we're gonna put it face down. And I just uh, tuck it underneath. And because I've trimmed and I'm using WSS, if you look, you can see through it. So instead of taking Oh, wait a minute, though. Stop! Instead of taking... Wait! Yeah, we have to take it over here. All right. Back to the desk, Don. Phew! Phew! Oh, the ribbon. Yeah! Yeah, I know. Didn't you say you put that in there so you wouldn't forget? Yeah, but I was falling into my old habits of not taking it off the hoop, but as I was saying it, that's a real life moment, people, right there. Real life moment. So just a little bit of the soft tape, and it is going to stay inside, but that's okay as well. And make sure you tape the top, because if you don't, there is a chance when you put everything back that this folds down, and there's probably nothing worse than that it really sucks when you do it so i'm gonna do the top and just a little bit it's just masking tape it's nothing spectacular <laughs> and because i've got this locked down a little bit i'll leave it lynn says oh i have uh bob and two thank you beth that's awesome i i may have gone without changing it. So back to the machine, Don. So we can, thank you, Beth. I might've forgotten. I am going to change my top thread as well. It's a similar red, but there we go. Look at how stunning that looks even. Stunning. So we're going to do that. I need my scissors and Hey, hey, metallic thread all the way. I just love it. And I'm going to put my red back on its spot. I love it. And metallic thread going on. Ow, rock it out. I don't know why I did that. I'm trying to avoid all the cords that are 
not placed properly anymore. They're in my way. And I hit my machine. I'm sorry, Captain Jack. Sorry. So, metallic thread in the bobbin. Yes, you can. And metallic thread on top. Um, I could have waited till the next step, but we got it. Because this is just going to stitch it down. And then we're going to trim and try not to cut our ribbon off. So, yeah, I feel good that I got it done a step early, then I won't forget. So this is just an outline, and it's just attaching everything to the hoop. So super easy. Oh, yeah, Bjorn says hi. She doesn't show up on any of the video because the hoop's so small. We just saw the eyeball. Yeah, it's good. Oh, you're zoomed right in back to the desk, Don. Okay, need my scissors back. Oh, we are so ready to rock. This will be good. You can also make the back pretty with, you know, Christmas fabric, and you could maybe fussy cut something. I think it would look cute. I keep thinking poinsettias would look really cute for the guy's hat. I think it would be neat. So there we go. So far, so good. Now, when you get to this part, make sure that you are not cutting your ribbon. It would be really easy to get under here like that. You see? Don't do that. Don't do that. You want to make sure and hold up your fabric like I do. Because, yeah, it would suck. Although, you just have to do it again and put it back on the machine and then do it all over again. But that's okay. Now, this tape is coming off, but this tape is staying on because I really don't want it to accidentally fall back and get some nice satin stitches on it. So, we're going to be super careful. Perfect and perfect. Look how great that plaid looks. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. And if you have any, you know, trimming, neatening up to do, now's the time. It's not too bad. I don't think I'm going to get coverage on everything. But, yeah, sometimes it's hard to cut through it. And I can fix that afterwards. All right. Ready for the satin stitches, Don? Yep. Back to the machine. What's up? Double check. So bobbin done. Metallic thread done. And ribbon is up. Let's do this. So we're almost done. The <coughs> time on the machine says 11 minutes. It's 7,569 stitches. Good stitch. It's not bad. So zigzag stitch is going to really show you if you have parts that are going to be outside just slightly and there might be a few yeah you can see right there that little bit so it's kind of a get out of jail free card so once it goes you can stop cut it and then you can go back and maybe you know super fancy trim it up i'm not that worried about it so i'm gonna leave it now, this isn't a normal satin stitch. It's a, a design satin stitch, and it is beautiful. So you can, when you're listening to them stitching, you can hear it goes fast and slow, fast and slow. Which, by the way, is the reason why I never, ever, ever, ever change the speed of my machine, because the machine is smart enough to know how fast it should go. It does not need you to figure it out. So set your machine at the top speed, which is default, and let it go, and the machine will decide for itself. So there you go. Looks good, everyone's like, woo, that's a fast stitch out. Yeah, and you could really get a lot of these done. Now, think Christmas cards. If you could throw one of these in, your Christmas card, I think everyone would go, wow, for sure. So these are the reasons why I wanted to put this together. And I'm going to be decorating my tree with some of these. 
and the rest will probably go to where I usually send all the stuff that I make to um, where my daughter works. She's a nurse and she works at hospice and it makes all the nurses who work there it's a pretty sad environment in general uh, they really love it so I just put a pile of everything together and she takes it to work and says here you go and everyone um, you know picks stuff you could put it on the outside of the card with a glue dot oh yeah brilliant brilliant yeah that's for sure so many things you could do with them and I think they're super cute and I think it would be easy to do. I do like his smile. I think the smile is nice, even in red. I do have to give him a beard trim though. For sure. I like the fancy stitches. It's kind of neat. You can kind of see them, but yeah. God bless your daughter. Yeah, she does a tough job and she is absolutely wonderful at it. Um, sometimes it gets her down, but she brings in the, the cheer and the kindness and the caring into hospice. So she's, she was made for it for sure. Awesome. I think I'll use these as gift tags for the projects I'm working on. Yeah, why not? It's awesome. There's a polar bear, which ha would have more room for writing. The penguin is super cute. Of course, Santa, his tummy and his belt, that's a, you know, classic one. It's, it's awesome. I have to get out of my studio and start stitching. Yeah, I want to get all of them done. I've had enough garage and yard clean for this year. Oh yeah, me too, except for I forgot to do any, but Don did a little bit. I gotta do a little bit more because it all the time. It's kind of weird. We have a big, huge old tree. So it's probably 50 years old, the tree, in our front yard. And he's absolutely gorgeous. We named him Sir Harold for no reason. But one day he'll have leaves, and then the other day it's like a cartoon. Poof, gone. Cars are buried. Cars on the streets are buried. There's leaves everywhere. Sarah says cleaning is overrated. Yeah, that's why I don't do much. I clean up my area. I clean up my desk <laughs> and my machine <laughs> when it's time to do a video. But other than that, I got piles of what to do next. Beth is asking if you can do multiples on a larger hoop. I don't see why not. Um, the only thing is, make sure you have really good WSS. Um, if you're really good at trimming, you could use cutaway and that would make it a lot easier. Uh, and I'll show you the trick to it. Don and I have cut out millions of satin stitch things, so we're pretty good at it. So, yes, you can do it. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't do, like, 50 <laughs> on the big, 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 big hoop, but 7 by 12, I don't see why not. If your machine will color sort, that would be uh, just as great, but doing one, 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 and keep it going, yeah. You could make a nice assembly line and seriously go a long way. Um, the only other thing you would have to do is the ribbon goes up quite far, so you might have to fold it over again and tape the top part down so it doesn't interfere with another one, if that makes any sense. Did that make sense? Yeah. So, yeah, you could really go, um, especially like the uh, candy one. It is just um, stitching. So, super easy to do. Then put a sheet over the back of it, cut them all out. Yeah, you could. Easily. I thought the 4x4 hoop would be fun to use. Oh yeah, you can see the design in the satin stitch. Oh, I love it. Just a little bit fancier. I kind of like it that way. It makes sense. Alright. Yeah, you could do a whole bunch of them. I would uh, cut out your 
fabric and have everything ready, it would be easy. Again, like I said, the candy one, which is just as cute. That one would be really easy because it would just stitch out at the end. You only have to trim the front, the batting, the front, and the back, and then stitch. So super easy. I love how this turned out. I love his green hat. I wish I had fabric that was like red with a bit of gold in it too. Um, because I think that would look awesome. The gold metallic thread is gorgeous. So yay, metallic thread in the bottom. Yes, you can. Happy music, my favorite. So, okay, back to the dust done. So, yeah, you can see the pretty design. I love it. And look at the back. Oh, nice. And I had zero problems, right, guys? There was no problems with the bobbin. There was no problems with... There never is with Kingstar. No, I know. I know. I tested it. I tested it. So, because I'm using WSS, I'm just going to trim it um, close to it, but we're going to have to get rid of it. And, again, on this part, do not cut your ribbon. See the ribbons right there? And if you put your scissors incorrectly, you will cut it through. So maybe start with that while you're thinking of it so you don't absentmindedly don't do it. Yeah, it would just be annoying very annoying especially at this point yeah especially at this point and we've all done stuff like that so yeah so i'm gonna take my specialty scissors that i keep right on my machine they're small and pointy and i'm gonna very carefully take this off and see it is effective and next time, just be maybe a little more careful in my trimming on those parts. But you know what? It doesn't matter. They do not have to be perfect. Um, it's awesome. Now, if you are off a little bit um, for, say, the batting, and it kind of shows, if you notice, uh, most of mine got in, you can take a Sharpie marker once you get rid of all this, you can take a Sharpie marker and just kind of touch up the edges. So that was the trick. If you want to make multiple ones and you want to use cutaway, when you trim it, you want to trim it as close as you can. And uh, we don't usually use applique scissors, but as close as you can like this without cutting the satin stitches. And you will have a little bit left over like that. And that's when you can take your fabric marker. It doesn't have to match perfectly close enough. Um, and it'll look perfect. You'll be surprised. <laughs> how did, uh, Kathy has asked, how did the WSS work with the fur? Fine. No you problem. You don't really need to soak the whole thing because it's an ornament. But yeah, you're not going to be putting... So um, you can just dampen the edges. Yeah, that's what I did for this one. Um, and the outside is just in the regular thread, which looks really good too. See the difference between the metallic? It's a little bit darker and I quite like it. But again, I did this guy with all one thread. And I think it's cool. But, you know, if this fur gets wet, I don't think it's an issue in any way, shape or form. But the only thing is, if you're using WSS and they get wet, they will crinkle up. But honestly, all you have to do is then wash them, like put it in the water and wash them. So either way, you can use WSS or you can use the cutaway and you can, with a little bit of practice and little, little snips like I'm doing here, I've had to teach so many people how to cut like this. Um, you can get it pretty close and then you have it. So I hope you guys will spread the word. It's a fundraiser too, so we can get the Sucam hooked up at least and not have any, <coughs> excuse not me. Have that that up. Oh, is it freezing up? 
yeah. Well, it's because it's a PC. So, yeah, help us. Help us. Is it working now? Is it good? Yeah. Just yeah, kind of. Oh, we had that problem with that camera on the PC, but yeah, not on the Mac. Mac so. Anyways, it's a sweet deal. Five dollars for five of these ornaments. They're all uh, the same shape, which is super cute. You know, you could do a set for someone. So spread the word. Get get everyone. It's a great deal. It's great designs. Um, I think uh, you'll have a lot of fun stitching. I hope you guys will use your metallic thread. I got out my green and my gold. So you can see even the green would look awesome. What about the gold on? The, oh, yeah. And wind your bobbins with it for sure. So thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for all of your sport, support. Head on over to omlembroidery.com. The mods put the link up. Grab your designs while you can. They're not going to be there forever. It is a fundraiser and everything goes directly to what we need for um, the channel. So yeah, get your friends, get your friends. We could make it today if everyone told everyone and you could be making wonderful, wonderful ornaments. I love it. I'm so happy with them. So I'm going to, I'm going to make some more. Yeah. Don yeah. really likes them. I really like them. Yeah, the, a lot of them on the tree. yeah, I think it would look perfect or on the mantle or in cards. So yeah, post them in the group, share in other groups, share on your timeline, share on Pinterest. Help me make this happen, you guys. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye. I really like the metallic thread. It's so pretty.